Right, hi again, this is Ken Lamb welcoming you to the Terrace for the WHUD Special of the Week. This could well be a first around here. This time the music department has the holiday weekend off and you are sitting in the director's chair. This is your show. It's the listener's choice. Hi again, this is Ken Lamb, and this is a show that I've been wanting to do for quite some time because I've known all along that as a group, you, the listeners, really zero in on the best songs, the tunes that you like best. So for the first time ever, a three-hour show dedicated to you featuring your favorites. Our list of songs was determined by tracking your calls and cards about the music we play and by the sale of records and compact discs. I've been keeping tabs on your reaction to our music for longer than you may have known and you're about to hear the results. The special of the week is sponsored in part by Nesty. Now, here they are, the listener's choice on the special of the week. That's the Music Box Dancer and features English pianist, composer, producer, and arranger Frank Mills. Music Box Dancer was a chart single in May 1979, reaching as high as number three on many surveys. Quite an achievement for an instrumental record in this age of the vocal. We also heard the Delanis Melody featuring Jean-Claude Borelli and his orchestra. That was a big hit in 1975 in France and Germany as well as other European countries. Dolanis Melody was one of the first pop records that we know of to use the pan flute. The song was the theme from a French motion picture. Also in the set, a tune that has haunted listeners for years called Music from Across the Way, featuring the James Last Orchestra. And at last check, that record was still out of print, so it's now a rare recording. If you happen to have a copy, hang on to it. We began with something called Thank You for the Music, from a group said to have earned more than the Volvo car and truck company in their heyday. ABBA is the name of the group, and uh, their name came about by using the first letter of each of the singers' first names, in case you didn't know. This is Ken Lamb with the special of the week's Labor Day weekend listener's choice, playing your favorites. And right after these words, we'll come back with a melody that's too beautiful to last. From the Terrace, the special of the week on WHUD 100.7 FM. A very pleasant good evening to you. This is Ken Lamb with you, and we continue now with more great easy listening. Thank you. 
about another in that big somewhere out there. And even though I know how very far apart we are, it helps to think we might be wishing on the same bright star. And when night wind starts to sing a lonesome lullaby. It helps to think we're sleeping underneath the same big sky. Somewhere out there, if love can see us through, then we'll be together somewhere out there. That's such a beautiful tune. The Grammy Award winner for the Song of the Year in 1987 from the film An American Tale. Linda Ronstadt and James Ingram and Somewhere Out There. Somewhere in Time was played by Roger Williams. It's the theme from the film of the same title, a 1980 production that starred Christopher Reeve, Christopher Plummer, and Jane Seymour. The film tells the story of a playwright who finds a way back in time for another encounter with a girl that he loved and lost in a previous incarnation. John Barry produced the music for the soundtrack. We began the set with still more movie music, two versions of the same tune called Too Beautiful to Last, or the theme from Nicholas and Alexandra, featuring the Frank Purcell Orchestra and the voice of Engelbert Humperdinck. The tune comes from the 1971 film titled Nicholas and Alexandra, the story of Tsar Nicholas II. The film featured Michael Jaston and Janet Setzman and also Laurence Olivier. It wasn't much of a box office star, but it did produce a beautiful theme composed by Richard Rodney Bennett. If by chance you're just joining us, this is Ken Lamb with the special of the weekend. This week we're doing our very first Listener's Choice program featuring the songs you have voted as your all-time favorites by your calls and cards and by the sale of records and compact discs. And right after this short pause, more of your favorites. Stay with us. Saturday night here on the Terrace, and that means you're listening to the WHUD Special of the Week. This is Ken Lamb, and it's a pleasure to have you with us. We'll be around here until about 11 o'clock tonight with your easy music favorites.
Music from Lauren Van Ruins here on the special of the week. A song that probably sounds familiar to you, but perhaps you can't place it. It is the theme from the ABC TV miniseries of February 1983 called The Winds of War, a script that was adapted from Herman Wilkes' Pulitzer Prize winning account of the events that led up to World War II. The series brought us the TV debuts of Robert Mitchum and Ali McGraw. Also in the set, a tune from the New Age record rack, something called Behind the Waterfall from the Natural States album by David Lands and Paul Spear. We began the set with a tune called The Mull of Kintyre, featuring the Frank Purcell Orchestra. Paul McCartney wrote the song as an anthem for Scotland because he loved living on his farm near Campbelltown, about 11 miles from the southern tip of the Scottish peninsula, known as the Kintyre. The Paul McCartney and Wings version of the song was released as the B-side of a single with a thing called Girl's School on the A-side. The idea was that on this side of the Atlantic, we wouldn't know the Mull of Kintyre from the Cape of Good Hope. But I think we fooled McCartney. We still may not know where the Kintyre is, but uh, we do love that tune. It may not have been a charted single on this side of the Atlantic as it was over there, but it certainly is big around here anyway. This is Ken Lamb with the Listener's Choice on the special of the week. And right after these words, we'll be back with more of your all-time favorites, including some Midnight Blue. You're listening to the special of the week here on WHUD 100.7 FM. This is Ken Lamb with you. I'm your host here on the Terrace for our weekly gathering. Your kind of easy listening music presented in a truly different style.
You kind of get the feeling you're out on the water when you listen to that one, don't you? Chad Atkins with something called Sales here on the special of the week. We also heard the big French orchestra of Caravelli with Midnight Blue, a pop song based on the Beethoven Pathétique Piano Sonata Opus 13. We began the set with Louis Armstrong's What a Wonderful World, a tune that has enjoyed a whole new life because it was introduced in the soundtrack of the film Good Morning Vietnam. It was originally released in the early 1960s and long forgotten till the Robin Williams film used it to help recreate the era of the early 60s. This is the special of the week, and I'm Ken Lamb, hoping you're enjoying the holiday weekend. And if you're just joining us here, these are your favorites. It's the first ever Listener's Choice Special of the Week. And we'll be right back with two more big hours of the songs you like best. Stay with us. And it's nice to have you here on the terrace until 11 o'clock tonight. Out of all the songs we play each day, we know from your reaction by your calls and cards and by the sale of records and compact discs that you have your special favorite songs that you really like a lot. And that's what this holiday weekend special of the week is made of. This is Ken Lamb back again with the songs you like best on the first ever Listener's Choice Special of the Week. The whispers in the morning Well, there's a song that always gets the phones ringing around here, people calling in, asking what it is. Perhaps Love features the unlikely duo of Placido Domingo from the classical side and from the pop side, the song's writer, John Denver. Speaking of the classical side, we heard the theme from the film Ordinary People called Seasons, the music based on Johann Pachelbel's canon in D major, featuring the Charles Fox Orchestra. Mary Tyler Moore, Donald Sutherland, and Timothy Hutton starred in the 1980 film. Marvin Hamlish did the original score. We played music from another movie. It was Henry Mancini and the theme from the 1970 film titled The Molly Maguire, starring Richard Harris, Sean Connery, and Samantha Ager. That film told the story of an undercover detective hunting the leaders of a secret society in a Pennsylvania coal mining district in the 1870s. And we began our set with another tune that would certainly place in our top ten. The Power of Love was written and sung by Brooklyn-born Jennifer Rush, who now makes her home in England. More of the listener's choice on this holiday weekend special of the week coming right up. I'm Ken Lamb, inviting you to stay with us for tunes like Wigwam, Memory, and Songbird. I want to take a moment right here to remind you that some very special things will be coming up next Saturday night here on the WHUD Special of the Week, so be sure your dial is set on 100.7 FM. As a matter of fact, I hope you have your dial set all the time on 100.7 FM for great, easy listening.
And there you have a handful of tunes that have been the center of listener interest over the years. Songbird featuring Kenny G, a tune from the world of jazz that crossed over into the pop field about a year ago and helped to put Kenny G on the map. Memory was by Barbara Streisand, a tune from the score of the Broadway smash hit Cats by Andrew Lloyd Webber. And we began the set with the big French orchestra of Caravelli and a song written by Bob Dylan. Dylan is currently on tour and is getting some of the best reviews of his career with the critics praising his no-frills show. And since part of the effort is to revive the classics, I wouldn't be surprised at all if Dylan was doing his wigwam as part of the act. This is Ken Lamb with the special of the week, and we'll be right back with more of the listeners' choice, songs you voted as your favorites over the years. We'll play a tune from the Phantom of the Opera right after this short pause for these words. If you're just joining us, welcome. You're on the terrace. A nice place to be on a Saturday night. This is Ken Lamb with you, keeping you company with the special of the week here on WHUD. Remember, we're at 100.7 on your FM dial. If we had a top ten around here, that one would certainly be on the list. It's called The Lonely Shepherd, and it features Zamfir with the James Last Orchestra. James Last wrote the tune, and Zamfir plays something called the Pan. That's P-A-N, the Pan flute. Zamfir is a well-known name in the world of classical music, and this song, along with Jean-Claude Borelli's Dolanis Melody, has certainly helped to kindle a great deal of interest in the Pan flute. Also in the set, the theme from the Thorn Birds from Henry Mancini, the Thorn Birds is an ABC TV miniseries from the spring of 1983 that starred Richard Chamberlain as an ambitious priest who was the romantic interest of a beautiful lady from the Australian outback. The feature enjoyed big rating numbers, and I've always thought that much of the attention that this song has received comes from folks who saw the series but can't place the music. So now you know what it is. We began the set with All I Ask of You from Sarah Brightman and Cliff Richard, a rare single 45 that was released in advance of the Phantom of the Opera to help promote the Broadway show. And as it turns out, Michael Crawford, who plays the Phantom in the show, is fast becoming a major star. And you have to wonder if they could do it over again, would they have used Crawford instead of Richard on that record? I'm sure I know the answer to that one. This is Ken Lamb with the special of the week's Listener's Choice, the songs you like best according to our research based on the sale of records and compact discs and on the requests that you send us or call in to us. Right after these words, we'll be back with more of your favorites, including Midnight Blue. Saturday nights are more pleasant with the WHUD special of the week. This is Ken Lamb with you. And we'll be here on the terrace right up till 11 o'clock tonight.
some desert rain, a welcome sight here on the special of the week. That is from the New Age Record Rack featuring David Lons and Paul Spear. The guy and the gal duo were Louise Tucker and Charlie Scarbeck. The song is Midnight Blue, a vocal version of music based on Beethoven's Pathetic Piano Sonata Opus 13. And here's some good news for you. That tune has been out of print, and the album version still is, but we have recently learned that Arista Records has re-released Midnight Blue on a single 45 in the Arista Flashback series. And you may be able to find a copy, but let me urge you to grab one while you can because you just don't know how long the current supply will last. Again, Midnight Blue has been re-released under the Arista Flashback series and is now available on a single 45. Ask your record shop about it. We began with a TV theme. Dave Grusin was featured with the theme from the medical series, St. Elsewhere. This is Ken Lamb with the Labor Day weekend special of the week featuring the listener's choice, the songs you like best. And another big hour is just ahead, so stay with us. If you're just joining us here, welcome. This is the Labor Day weekend special of the week, and this is also a first for us. We're playing the listener's choice this time around, the songs that you have most asked about over the years by way of your calls and cards, and also by the sale of records and compact discs. This is Ken Lamb, hoping you'll stay with us and enjoy some very good music. This lady is right at the top of the hill when it comes to your favorites.
A track from the album Opera Sauvage. Greek keyboardist Vangelis and him, that's spelled H-Y-M-N-E, and is the music that was used to score a commercial for a wine product. It was the exposure received in that TV spot that helped sell the album. That's not the way it's supposed to work out in the record business, but uh, Van Galis will take it, that's for sure. Also in the set, a very rare record, something that you won't be able to find in the record store. George Greeley at the keyboard from an old Warner Brothers album titled A Classic Affair. The love music from Tristan and Isolde, adapted from the Wagner opera of the same name. And we began the set with a track from an album titled Roses and Sunshine by Nana Mascuri. Even Now is certainly one of the most requested things that we play around here. This is Ken Lamb with the Labor Day Listener's Choice Special of the Week, playing the songs that you like best. And we'll be right back with some things I know you love from Roger Whitaker and Richard Claterman and from Ray Lynch and James Last. Don't go away. We're playing your kind of music on a Saturday night. This is Ken Lamb for the WHUD Special of the Week. We're right here at 100.7 on your FM dial.
That is the tune that put German pianist Richard Klederman on the map. It's called Ballad for Adeline, a tune that I guess was written for a lady named Adeline. We also heard a version of the same song by another German star, James Last. And before that, a tune by a man who is quite popular in Germany these days, but who lives in England and who was born in Nairobi. Roger Whitaker sang The Last Farewell, a hit single in May of 1975 on this side of the Atlantic. And a real classic, both here and over there. And we began the set with something from the New Age record rack, a song called Celestial Soda Pop by Ray Lynch and from Ray Lynch's Deep Breakfast album. We hope you're enjoying the tunes here on the first ever Listener's Choice Special of the Week. And if you think this is a good idea, please let us know and perhaps we'll schedule another one for you in the future. This is Ken Lamb and we'll be right back with more of your favorites. Stay with us for Kisses and Tears. From 100.7 on your FM dial. And there's a remake of a song that was a hit in the summer of 1968. Mason Williams and his guitar with the new age group called Mannheim Steamroller and Classical Gas. Before that, Ennio Morricone 
And the theme from a BBC TV series. The song is called Ki Mai. We also heard from a group that we mentioned earlier in the show, ABBA, and a song called I Have a Dream. And we began the set with something called Kisses and Tears by Anthony Ventura. Right after this short break, we'll come back with more of the listeners' choice special of the week, including A Love Until the End of Time and Lake Como. This Saturday night here on the terrace. This is Ken Lamb enjoying the music right along with you. And you're listening to WHUD Special of the Week. One of the very first New Age recordings to make it onto the pop singles charts and perhaps the only one to become a number one record from the 1981 film Chariots of Fire, the title song by Greek keyboardist Vangelis, the very same fellow who did the wine song or hymn earlier in the show. Lake Como features Elaine Morisot and the Sweet People and is included on a Polydor album titled Summer Dream. The song is named after the popular European vacation spot on the Italian-Swiss border. The guy in the gal duo back there was made up of the unlikely mix of a singer from the classical world, Placido Domingo, and a singer from the pop world, Maureen McGovern. Their song is also the title of the album from which it comes, A Love Until the End of Time, on CBS Records. We began the set with another album title tune, Biscaya, the title tune from the James Last album on Polydor Records. 
Well, we hope this first ever Listener's Choice program was pleasant listening for you. And perhaps you'd like us to do it again sometime. If so, drop us a note. Thanks going out to Marlon Taylor, our music director, and to program assistant Jed Hacker, and also to co-executive producers Jeff Rich and Dan Fermento. And we also want to thank Tom Dybeck and Roger Cook at Easy Listening Music, Montrose, California, for their consultation. The special of the week is a copyrighted production of Radio Today Entertainment, Jeff Long, founding producer, and George Spanos, technical director. We're sponsored by Nesty. This is Ken Lamb wishing you a great week ahead and inviting you back here next week for the special of the week.